I, all right. Good morning, David. Good morning, Karen. Uh, we're here to celebrate your win yeah, as grand you. champion of the South Carolina Truck Driving Championships for 2023. Yep. It's, it's a great feeling. It's awesome. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. How'd you feel when you like, when your name was announced? I was totally surprised. I was totally astonished. It was a, it was a really an awesome honor because everyone at this event, in my eyes, you have to be a safe driver to even participate in this event. And to be selected of this group based on this competition, it was a great honor. But in my eyes, I mean, I wish everybody could be honored the way I was honored because it's really an awesome experience and it feels great to win. But I've mm -hmm. also been on the other aspect where I didn't win. But you know what? I was just honored to be able to be eligible to participate in such a great event. Yep. Now, tell me, like, um, how many times have you actually participated? Um, this is my 17th time at a state yeah. event. And um, my fifth time in South Carolina. And the rest of the time I was in a Vermont competition. That's where I spent a lot of my career until now. So before you became, um, have you been a truck driver the whole time? I sure have. Um, 33 years, give or take. So 30 years with FedEx and then uh, a little company up in northern New York. It was a buck paper company. It was an institutional supply company. I drove truck for them. And before that, I got my CDL at my grandfather's farm hauling um, feed and uh, actually um, an agricultural license. But it wasn't an agricultural license. It was an agricultural thing. And hauling feed from Canada into northern New York to supply my uh, grandparents' farm. That's really awesome. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> so you mentioned before we get on here that you really mm -hmm. wanted to give back. And yeah. it sounds like you have um, like tentacles all in the trucking industry. So tell me a little bit more about like how you want to give back and how your job has impacted those around you. Well, I think um, I'd like to give back. I'd like to have more people interested in this event. I've spread word up north when I was up there, and I got other people to compete locally. I'm working on the guys down here. And it's just a great thing to be part of. It puts the drivers in a whole different frame of mind, being safe. And you want to be safe. Obviously, you don't want anything to happen. But it's nice to get home safe and um, no events happening on the road. And then you're eligible to compete in this awesome event. And it's it's an ego boost. And it, it, it makes you feel real good and proud to work. You're a part of a group of drivers at the competition. They all like um, like-minded. And mm -hmm. safety is the utmost importance. And um, just being able to give back. And I volunteered one time in Maine to at a TDC. And uh, it I, I had a really enjoy, great time. I was scoring on us a couple problems and I just enjoyed scoring and seeing the excitement of the drivers going around the course. It's great. There's excitement and those nerves, right? Oh, oh, absolutely. Nerves. But I was probably more excited that I wasn't in the truck driving around the course. I was scoring. <laughs> you got a little break. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So tell me, like, um, you know, I do not i've never actually run the course as a driver right mm -hmm. so from that perspective when you're out there on the course and you're doing these six problems like what do you think what are you thinking what do you feel uh this is kind of emotional for me because every time i grew up in the trucking industry and uh some of my earliest memories of trucking is on my grandparents farm and i was a little boy riding on my grandfather's lap with a farm tractor and i think of that going around the course. It, it kind of yeah. puts me in the zone coming into problems and stuff like that. So that's about it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. So if you were to talk to fellow drivers who have never participated in the TDC mm -hmm. before, what's the um, one thing you would tell them they could get out of this? Being around drivers that are safe, uh, the... Um, the commonality you have with other drivers, you're a safe driver, because unfortunately, we share the roads with other folks, and we we do this for a living. 
and you can share a lot of stories, good and positive things about it, but it's nice to have a lot of positive people in the same room and it recharges your batteries and it makes me forward every year looking forward to this competition, being eligible for it because it's almost like a, it's like a big dance, I guess you could say. You're all excited and it, it, it's it's makes you feel real good to be part of it every year. That's awesome. Yeah. So when do you find time to practice? Well, I, I practice every day. Not in like a course like that. I practice every day trying to stay safe, going to customers' locations, you know, staying eligible, trying to be safe just to be able to be eligible. But um, that whole frame of mind, trying to not hit stuff, obviously, and um, – like when I'm backing up to a dock, a customer's lo loading dock, I'm just trying to just lightly tap the loading dock, not being rough on the equipment because let's face it, if you're rough on your equipment, that's being rough on your employer and in effect, it takes away from profits. It's true. And damaging so basically freight, every day is a training day. Absolutely. Every day is a training day. Yeah. And I, to be honest, I do um, practice once in a while. Um, you know, um, we had a little course that we set up and just try to get your frame of mind of, I think the biggest thing is people watching you. That's probably the ner the biggest nervous thing because people don't normally watch you like that day to day. So you're just mm -hmm. trying to put in your frame of mind, there might be some people watching me and just kind of going slow around the course. That's a big thing. Slow and safe. Yeah. Yep. So you won for three axle. Yes. Have you won in any other classes over I your have, years? I have. My first year I did it in all two, I um, did five axle. And I went to the nationals first time at the nationals. And I came in fifth at the nationals. And that was an awesome feeling. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to duplicate fifth. I've come in ninth a couple times in uh, 13th. And I think like 35th, but it always feels good coming, finishing at the top of your group, of course. But, sure. you know, but everybody's got a great chance at winning this competition. If you're a safe driver and um, you just, you got to study your facts for drivers. You definitely got to study that and uh, your pre-tripping ability. And it puts you in a good frame of mind for the whole year. So you just, you just got to, Kind of keep practicing. What's the uh, one thing that you're most nervous about going to nationals this year? Um, probably uh, zeroing out a problem that I sh like a uh, backing problem, for example, just zeroing out a problem, like maybe the first problem on the course, knowing that I zeroed it out because mm -hmm. that would probably put me in a bad frame of mind through the whole thing. But um, I guess other than that, my biggest thing is I just need to relax. <laughs> and have fun with it. Yeah. Right. Yep. Kind of get back into your zone. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Zen. Sit in I granddaddy's guess. lap. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it was great growing up as a kid. My grandfather, hearing his trucking stories, my uncles, with their trucking stories, and I always looked up to them. And, um, and my father, he uh, retired from UPS, and it's just, we were like a whole trucking family and um, just hearing all the stories. And I guess my kids have heard the stories and, you know, their careers reflect that also. And it's, it's amazing how you can have an influence on the generation after you too. Yeah. Tell us more about your kids. Yeah. So my uh, youngest, he's a diesel mechanic. Uh, my, I, our company too, he's a heavy truck mechanic. He also works on the GSE equipment and, I tell you, that was an awesome feeling for him working. And um, uh, if my truck breaks, um, my kids got to fix it. I guess it's one way you can do what you can do to get your kids to work for you or, or help you out. And um, and also my uh, oldest is a uh, pilot. He entered the Air Force and um, he enlisted. And he kind of did went to officer school after he enlisted. And uh, he's in the Alaska Air National Guard. 
Um, he was a bush pilot up in Alaska, and he kind of worked his way. And right now, in fact, he's graduating from Air Force Flight School um, July 14th down in Texas. Awesome. So that's, that's pretty exciting. But um, prior to that, he was hauling uh, cargo. So he was flying a truck, basically, um, a uh, old DC-3 in the uh, Alaska bush in the um, in the summertime. So it was really neat. He was just kind of doing what I do, but flying. <laughs> kind of neat. Without, without the same guardrails. That's right. Yep. And traffic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's traffic. I mean, uh, I guess... Uh, uh, interesting is up there is um, the grizzly bears before the salmon start running. You, oh, yeah. you yeah, you entered the food chain, so you got to be very careful up there. <laughs> whole whole ba whole different level of safety up there. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. So tell me about your wife. She was in at the very beginning, and she had yeah. no scoop. Well, she's my wife's a nurse, and um, mm -hmm. she's been with the she's been my biggest fan with this whole thing throughout the years, and uh, she's been very supportive. And in fact, this year, I after COVID, I guess I got lazy, and I took last year off, and we were cleaning some a uh, filing cabinet up, and my wife goes to me, "I think you should do it." I go well, do what? She goes, "I think you should do the truck rodeo." And like, she goes, I support you. I go, okay, I'll do it. Uh -huh. So it was up to her reason why I did this this year too. She kind of, she wore me down and I'm like, all right, let's do it. And I always try to do it as the best of my ability. And she was really supportive of me. And Jennifer, right? Yep. Jennifer. Yep. Yep. And she, she, she couldn't make it. I know it. It's just, we have sometimes like my youngest, he's uh, kind of situating with a new house. You know, mm -hmm. and just he's in the gardening and um we have a rescue dog and it's amazing it's kids lot. move out. Yeah, the kids move out and you hate to put your dog in a kennel. Yeah. So she goes, I've she's been to a lot of rodeos with me over the years. And um this is her was her off year. But um it's kind of funny. She texted me during the competition towards the end of the awards and she said, Well, and she wanted to know how I did. And right then and there, that's when I sent her a picture of my grand champion award. It was the exact same timestamp. And I'm like, wow, she knew. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's still on my phone, the same exact timestamp. And I was like, <laughs> I think she knew before I did. <laughs> how long have y'all been married? Oh, let me see. 22 years. <laughs> so that's awesome. Oh, yeah, so we kind of we kind of did things a little differently, so that's why we're anyhow we made that's it right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You definitely bonded. That's awesome. Yeah, we we definitely did. We just definitely did. Yep. Yeah. She's my uh, rock. <laughs> yeah. We met that's a cool. lot of great friends, and uh, that's one thing at these rodeos. We met some great friends, lifetime friends. So a lot mm -hmm. of them retired. Some have passed. Um, unfortunately, and that, that I just gets me heart, you know, they, they saw me when I was a rookie mm -hmm. and it's, they were like passing the baton and it was a really great honor. And uh, my wife also met a lot of folks that, mm -hmm. you know, the spouses became really good friends with still in touch with to this day. And it, it's, and of course we're meeting new people down here too. And it is, it's, it's great. That's awesome. Yep. And you're in the upstate in Greer? Yes, that's right. It's near the mountains and really close to the ocean. It's and lack of snow. Love it. It's a little better than Vermont, but not. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's I enjoy not uh dealing with ice roads and uh no, let me see uh frozen brakes and putting chains on tires. It's just, uh, and they don't uh, plow the roads 11 at night to four o'clock in the morning. I remember that. And um, I, I don't miss that. I, I um, do miss maple sugaring with my parents, but, um, you know, that's what the vacations are for. <laughs> that's yeah. pretty cool. Yep. So before we wrap up, is there mm -hmm. anything else that you'd like to share about yourself or about being a truck driver or the participating in the event 
Um, I never uh, anticipated when I became a truck driver. I always liked driving truck. I always enjoyed it. And um, I never anticipated having this much uh, a celebrity status, I guess you could say. <laughs> it, but it recharges the batteries. And um, it just makes you feel really good about I love my job. I mean, I had my bad days, too. But um, I can't imagine doing anything else in my life. It's nice being out in the public and um, seeing different people, interacting with people. I, I couldn't, I couldn't stand being in a building all day. I, I'd probably get in trouble. So I'd like being out the back of the road, and it, it's, it's a, it's been, um, it's gave me a great opportunity to support a family and raise kids, and um, now I'm just kind of enjoying life down here in the south, big time. Really enjoy that's it. awesome. Yes. Well, we're glad you're here, David. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Well, it was and an congratulations. honor. Congratulations. It was an honor. Thank you so much. I'm gonna try my best. I'm just, like I said, I'm study packs for drivers all the time whenever I can, and um, I'm gonna try to represent South Carolina's. Bring hopefully, uh, you know, win it all. But I'm gonna try my best anyhow. Well, I know you and the uh, eight others that'll be joining you up in. And at the in August in the competition are just going to have a ball, and Yo, we can't absolutely. wait to, to you cannot, watch that. Yeah, you cannot not have fun in my yeah. In my shoes. Yes, absolutely. That's great. Yeah. Well, congratulations, David Thank, Fountain. Thanks again. <laughs> thanks again, Taryn. <laughs>